Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dark Hunter run in Midnight Suns. We have a supply run coming up here. Uh, recover Hydra supplies from the back of Hydra vehicles before they escape. So we're going to have some competing objectives here. Blade is required. Uh, we've got a rare Gamma Coil and rare credits up for grabs. We talked about bringing Nico and the Hunter. The Hunter actually has two counter at mission start. So something we need to keep in mind. Uh, if we can keep us tanked up or something, then we could be dishing out some, some damage back at enemies. We have uh, one combo card in the deck now. And we have Channeling Hex. This is the only option. Uh, select a hero, double the damage of their next environment attack for free. So, situationally could be insanely strong. Uh, but, let's get rock and rolling. We have need for the supplies out here. Okay. Recover supplies. Break the enemy protection to access the trucks. Use the recover supplies card to secure these supplies. Hydro but you have a certain kind of window that this operates in. Them down. With pleasure. So that usually the shield guard, I kind of dilly dally around and don't deal with them as directly. A couple of decent mission cards there, and then of course the counter. Get to the trucks and grab those artifacts before they roll out. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Who's targeting the hunter? Of course, only this guy is. <laughs> uh, permanently disable the active truck so it can no longer depart. That's pretty decent. We could look at putting a little bit of damage into him. So that uh, the hunter could finish him off on the counter. I'm thinking we've got make him bleed plus here. Getting some early bleed going could be all right. The challenge is, depending on what we draw, if we got a chain, it would be nice. I could put some bleed into him, chain over there, maybe chain to the big guy in the back. I'm going to redraw our dark heal. I don't see an immediate use for that. Witchfire could hit a random enemy and then possibly get recast if she hits a minion. And in this situation, there is a less than 50% chance that she does that. But if we use that as like the last attack after we weaken a few people, then that's also something to think about. I think this is a decent opener. We get a little damage on the, on the officer. The other thing we could look at doing is like moving the hunter here and quick slashing these guys into each other. I don't know. Actually, I think that range is going to be a little too far. Uh, Savage is really nice here. Really nice. So this is 105 damage to this guy with block. So we 100% want to use that. If I can get bleed on there, which I know I can with make him bleed, then we're laughing. So, okay, here's what we're going to do based on all of this knowledge. We are going to do the knockback quick with the hunter here. Get me out of here. Hail that. We're going to do the quick strike from blade. Restore all health. Exhaust. I'm pretty sure this is just her health, right? Like, that's pretty cool. But I am going to redraw that. Apply a weak. Okay. So, we drew weak. That's not terrible either. It's not terrible. Does my quick strike target matter? Uh, Blade is getting targeted by three. And then... If I wanted to do a chain attack with multiple bleed cards, this guy could be necessary to chain here, here, here to get bleed going. So that's something to think about, I guess. And this will keep Nico a little bit more protected. Blade has some lifesteal later with stake, so I think we'll go here. Get some. 
Okay. Where'd you learn that one? So now we look for make him bleed. We're gonna draw another blade card. Oh, we drew the <laughs> nice. Okay, actually, really nice. Really nice. Okay. Okay. So this I probably just save for next turn. This is our stake plus. Uh, so it's only two heroism. Uh, we go savage here for sure. So this is going to be tons of damage on this guy. Almost getting rid of his full shield. And applying bleed. And I say shield, but I, I should use the right terminology. Block. And then we could follow up with stake, but I kind of want to save that. So I think what I would maybe do is witch fire. And if we got really lucky, witch fire would hit this. But 48 damage is pretty good for an attack. I could, of course, apply weak, but we're still early here. I think people can afford to take a couple of hits. Anyways, savage is definitely happening. Don't play. <laughs> That's so sick. He shoots and slices. Whatever works. Shoots and slices blade. Love it. We need to put that on the uh, on the comic cover, I think. Okay. Uh. Interesting. Can't reach. Uh, what we could consider here. So, I think I'll still go Witchfire, just to see what happens. But, maybe I then use Channeling Hex, and we use the Vault, and Vault into this guy, to end the round. Right? Because that's going to be an extra 60 damage on this big dude. Okay, let's see what happens. Witchfire, go. All right. Well, oh, I mean, that's... That was something. That's good. That That is good. Before I commit, I don't think... Okay, I, I'm 90% sure that I can't get angles like this I have movement here. on the bounces. Yeah, I can't quite get these guys to collide. Uh, so, we're gonna go back to this. Where do you think you're going? And then we'll use this channeling hex. This and now, this help. is a 60. No mercy His block is gone. And he's going to take a bunch of bleed. He is coming in hot with a powerful attack, though. So generally, it seems like when we remove somebody's block, they come in with a powerful attack. So that is something to consider. Maybe be some knockback here. Blade might get might get a little injured. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. Is there anything else? Oh, you know what? We could trade one heroism here to take this guy out. I actually think that's not too bad. Yeah, I actually think that's not too bad. I'm not putting as much thought as I could be into like where my heroes are landing and stuff right now. But I think that's good. Never surrender. Not slow me down. There's our counter. I've been waiting for this. I wonder if the damage from the slide would have been enough there. You can cut that out any time. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Oh, they might get knocked into each other even. Let's see what he does. Lucky shot. Okay. Fully stunned. <laughs> that sucks, actually. 
That's a bummer. Look at this lineup of heroes. Oh, wow. That is so dirty. This guy, too? That truck is about to move out. You're running out of time. My God. Okay, we got a really bad... Oh, okay, well, we're weak, so that's why that's bad. Uh, we have an Empower Plus. We have a Wild Strike for decent amounts of damage. Uh, this is quite not good. 42 damage. Do I have an AoE somehow where I could damage Blade? Like... I don't know. Because I have to pretty much take that guy out. Right? This guy's attack is going to be this AoE. Then I also have to recover supplies, and then I also have to deal with the millions of enemies here. And I don't have any quick cards in my hand. I kind of want to save Stake, because if Blade does survive, he's going to have 58 health. He's getting attacked by these two. I need to move Nico away from here. We definitely need to get rid of this minion. And I have to recover these supplies. I have to recover at least one of the supplies. So, yeah. I could use Nico to get the supplies, and then she's going to run out of that circle. So that's at least something. But I think there is a decent argument to be made that we don't need... To do that here. We could have waited about 146 credits. Holy, that's a lot. That is a lot. Draw heroic, change the cost of all heroic to zero. That means the hero combo would be available as well, but Blade is stunned. Oh, that is like the most unfortunate thing ever. Hunter does have one more counter, but if I Wild Strike, these guys are both going to output a lot of damage. And I can't afford to do a Vulnerable here, I don't think. Although 33 damage would take this guy. That would take out him, but then, then I have to for sure deal with this guy. I still have this one to deal with. Oh, man, is this ever rough all of a sudden? Because Nico doesn't have any quick cards either. This guy's going to take another 30. I hate to redraw a stake here. I'm going to redraw Swarm. Or am I? Swarm could take this guy. I've already decided I can't go vulnerable, so I'm going to redraw this one. Okay. Interesting. We could apply Strengthened, which would just get her cards back to normal. The Hunter doesn't have any cards currently. This is such a bad draw. I'm going to ditch that as well. Oh, my. So, yes, this would add a marked, but only if they survive. So, we don't get the benefit of the marked there. Oh, <laughs> this is really rough. Um, we do have... We do have the shoves to play with. So we could do something like this from that angle. 
Or I could shove this guy into here, but we know what his attack is going to be. He's just doing that AoE. The other option is this, but it's like not enough to really accomplish anything. And these guys aren't close enough. Hmm. Two card plays. Oh, man, is that just ever bad? Hunter's getting attacked twice. I don't know if there's any way around these guys not going down. If we take him, 60 health and 58 health. I mean, maybe they survive these two attacks. I don't know if Blade does, because this guy's going to hit very hard. Uh, Nico probably, yeah, survives against the the uh, Hydra Commando. Hmm. So, I think my best play here is to hope I get a good heroic card. <laughs> But even then, if I even if I do that, even if I do that, that's still both my last card plays. And I don't want to use a heroic card on this guy. So I guess I'm gonna just Actually, okay, let's do this. Let's just get rid of this guy. With the move. And then that, that opens up my brain and I can focus on playing two cards now. So, uh, I think weak is a very good option here. Weak is a very good option against this guy to save Blade. I can try for Empower just to see, but if I don't play that card, then we don't get the benefits of it. So maybe I just go weak here. To keep Blade alive, right? This guy's at 24. I mean, that does get rid of him completely. And then, regardless of what this guy does... it's I don't think that's so bad, actually. And then we also... I could even just do Swarm to kill this guy. And then we disable the truck, so there's no time pressure on that. This should be good. Leave some for the rest of So now Blades at 58. He's getting attacked by one person. Hunter's getting attacked by two. This guy's attacking that ground area. Oh no! Really? But it won't stop them. Get to the artifact before they oh, figure out what no. happened. Oh no! That still was the quote-unquote active truck, even if we get the supplies from it. Oh no! Okay, interesting. Did not know about that little bit of interaction. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. <sighs> that sucks. Okay, Hunter is going to hit back, at least, so there's something. Hunter's going to be low here. Not enough. As long as you're ready for the counter. There isn't one. Damn, if I don't hate fanatics. And he's weak. Someone call for reinforcements. Okay. Oh, the game did me dirty on that truck. Pushed it too far. And now because he's weak. Oh, that's so, so bad. That 74 is much less impactful. This guy's going hard on a Nico attack. 
The whip could be beneficial to knock someone into a box. Maybe him. Uh, Blade needs to stake, but he, he doesn't have... Um, him being weak is really rough here. He would still heal. He would still get some healing in. Uh, and I and I could use Empower Plus to... This would be zero. And Stake would be zero. So we could basically eliminate this guy. But I actually, I feel like I kind of have to, I feel like I have to lifesteal here. Hunter also is in trouble, like, man. Okay. Marked or weak? With three people targeting him and the hunter being as low as he is, I don't think weak is actually going to make a difference. Actually, all of our guys could get KO'd here. That's a decent swarm. That's a that's a big damage swarm. I need I need like one quick card here to save the hunter. I need one quick card to save the hunter. Didn't get it though. I can at least I can take this person out. I can take out this Hydra. Okay, so that'd be one, and then the Hunter's alive, but then Blade, uh, he's weak, and there's nothing I can do to offset that. This will generate one Heroism. Uh, oh wait, 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 wait. I keep forgetting about the shove, so hold on a sec. If I do the shove here, I don't need to play Slash. Okay, so Hunter's not going to drop this turn, but Blade very well could. And Nico 100% will if that guy's not dealt with. Now, we could... Okay, hold on. It's 20. It's not going to be enough. Uh, we could simply use Slash here. To knock this one into the generator. The generator then cancels out the attack against Nico. Uh, and then Blade, <laughs> if Blade's going down anyways, then there's not much I can do, right? Like, I can't take out all three of these guys. I can't stop them from attacking him currently. So, it's kind of a tough call. I think, honestly, what I want to do here is I go Slash to stun this one, right? Then I go Empower to make the uh, hero cards zero. And then I go the hero combo of only 74, but it's enough to take this person out. And then next turn I could I could have all the heroism and I could revive Blade. And that's a free card play as well. So I could call to action for one card play, revive Blade if I need to, or just play around it. That's honestly the best I can come up with. And that's all of my thought process.
that's a neat trick. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. I think we keep this swarm. We're not going to end up redrawing this. I wonder if there's a better way to do this somehow because of swarm. If I, okay, so if I play in power, I'll draw a heroic and then something is free. So it guarantees at least I have the hero combo to deal with this guy. Because if I swarm, I can't do anything else anyways, except for recover the supplies. And then we're still not taking somebody, we're not clearing the field at all, right? Another option that I see is whipping someone. He's too far away for that. Uh, but we could whip like this guy. I whip him, we discard, but then I still can't play Empower into the hero combo because I don't have the I don't have the card plays. So I I just got to take someone and, and and Blade's gonna drop, unfortunately. Don't see a way around it. Perhaps if we on the previous turn, use the mark here, but then we couldn't have done other stuff. We could have marked him and then hero comboed, but... Yeah. And even if he life steals, it would be a totally different story if he wasn't weak. Okay? If he wasn't weak, we could... Uh, we could heal off this, but... 33 heal won't be enough for two attacks. Let alone three. So, anyway... He'll drop. Let's take them down together. That's okay. Beautiful. Okay. That's it. Whew. Man, our ally requires aid. Oh, good. More goons. <laughs> oh, good. More goons. It's yeah. your time now. Okay, he's overloading. Interesting. Uh, I might. Another truck is about to leave. You know what to do. Yep. Yeah. That's so unfortunate that that one card play that we used there operated the way that it did. So he's going to deal 42 damage. Hunter has 3 health. We do have heal plus. <laughs> oh, this has just been such a rough, rough mission. Even if I redraw, I'm not sure what benefits me the most here. What's funny is, I, like, I do have two whips, right? So I could whip this guy to the middle. That takes care of him. And then I could whip to here, and then he's stunned again. Uh, but Nico is still going to take an attack from here. And then the hunter probably falls as well. Because... If I do that, I won't be able to recover the supplies. So maybe I trade the supplies here for the whip, whip, heal. Or I guess in this scenario, I would go heal, whip, whip. The other option is looking at, at uh, heal, revive for free call to action stake but that 
that heals Blade, but it doesn't clear the board for anyone. And then I think oh, she might just drop anyways. If she put 60 on there, how much would Whip do if I whipped him into this guy? Not quite enough. Are there any other bouncing options? Like, I could do that. Takes him down to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 something. I could whip him there and then swarm. And that's one guy gone and not stunned. So tough to say. Okay. That's very rough. I'm impressed. If I heal here, the hunter should survive. And then I can... Maybe... Whip this guy... Into the middle? Oh no, but he'll just kill him. Actually, I could whip this guy into the boxes. And then this guy will explode for 42. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Uh, oh yeah, but I can't do that because I got to take care of this person. Otherwise, Nico's toast. Hold the light's gift. all coming back to me okay I wish these mission cards were free <laughs> that would be immensely helpful so even if I bring blade up here that runs me out of heroism which I don't want either okay well, hold on how far is the whip here? It's far, but I, I have to send him over here to to get rid of him. The reason I was thinking that is because I have the box. I have the box, um, but he's going to explode anyways. And I think Nico is going to fall here, man. Hold on. Is there another way, like... Hold on. Nico... How much damage is this if you do your knockback with your move? Not enough. Uh, I don't have an angle on anyone for that. Except if I revived Blade. You can't move and then shove. So that's something you need to, to think about. Like, if I revive Blade here, that uses all our heroism, but I could shove this guy in. And that would be something. Shove him into that area. But he's not going to die anyway. Alright. This is the best I got, you guys. She's weak. Even for Hydra. Okay. 
Him exploding doesn't even matter. Um, I should have maybe looked to redraw that earlier. Oh, and I should have redrawn this if I wasn't going to play it. Oh, I can't even. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> of course, look where that puts me. That puts me in the circle. And then here I can't hit anything. Like, oh my god, it's just so rough. I can't take two hits plus the explosion on the hunter, even if we're healed. There's no way. No! <sighs> oh my god, that's painful. That was a misclick. Well, okay. I couldn't really get any damage in anyways. I couldn't knock him into anything, knock him into anything. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's actually pull back to here, so we have some environmental stuff to, to play around. Back. Goodbye, truck. Well, that's one artifact we probably won't see again. Try not to let the others get away so easily. Thank you. The artifacts are secure. Why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're there? I'll handle it. How many times is this? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I know one left standing. Absolute destruction here. They seem to be fixated on me. Restore an ally to full health. Interesting. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking call to arms here, and then I have revives. I have to whip one to stun for sure. And then I have to probably heal, but that's not even going to be enough to, subs to deal with their attacks. Like, it won't even be close. I can't wild strike, that's for sure. Oh, nice. Because we're weak, we, we're healing for less, which is really bad. Um, I could cure us. But we take the damage, so we can't even do that. That is so, so bad. Do I Holy Flame myself? And then Dark Heal myself? Wait, I have two... No, I can't even do that. Look, I would restore 26 health. That would take me to 28. Dark Heal would kill me. To cure myself. Walk in the light. The power of the light. Holy smokes. What I could do is call to action, revive one of them. So we only get one. So we can at least have a chance of crawling out of this. And then... Uh, whip someone to stun one. We still are gonna fall. Pretty sure. Because the other option is whip, whip, right? One stun there. Hmm. 
Okay, so we're gonna revive Blade. You might be asking yourself, well, you could just restart the mission. And that's true, but the way we we're playing this is like, we have to deal with whatever's thrown at us and try to solve our way out of it. Now, two options here. If we're going down anyways on two attacks, which we 100% are, it's probably better for us to get Blade healed up to full, honestly. I could restore 26 health, but even then, these three attacks, I don't think we stop that. The stun, we still go down. We put out some damage. But I'm actually going to do this. I could look to redraw something. Hold on. Does that help me? Not right now. Not right now. I can put some damage on here. They're repositioning. We're weak, so that sucks. And then I'm gonna self-sacrifice. I am by your side. It's all on you, Blade. You. Have done that move first. Guess it's on me now. Okay, it is on you. Let's Absolutely 100%. Started. Yes, sir. So, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Ooh, that's actually very nice. Apply two mark to every enemy with bleed, and it's free. So, I think we go make them bleed here. Because we can't take them all in one turn. We save our lifesteal for the next exactly turns. What I needed. Target doesn't have block. But this is still 45 straight damage. So, we chain these two. Right? We chain those two, and then I go savage. Or is there a way I could take out somebody? 88? 45 plus 30 is 75. Or I do the stake just to get rid of somebody. Maybe I have to do that. 166, 94, 88. So I could stake and savage this guy. Just 100 to 0 him. Uh, wait a sec. He also has... Can I knock these guys into each other? I can. We'll start there. Then... Seventy nine, eighty eight. If I take this guy with stake, that takes him down to uh, twelve, 
Then I could quick strike him. And put Savage on someone else. It's using some of our bleeds, but I mean... Whatever. And I, I could even say, look, this guy, he's gonna... He's going to um, die on his bleed, but... I think we just do this. Clear the field. You kiss the mother with that mouth. And then we have one more bleed left. I can't strike them both, they're too far. Here it comes. Go here so we have a better chance of finishing him next turn because he's also going to take the bleed so we could probably use a quick card to finish him give the mother my regards in hell i don't think we need to put marked on because we have the quick for the mother oh this was not pretty but i think we're gonna get out of it That's not supposed to hurt. okay slow is not terrible because we have so much Heroism right now. Looks like we're winning. They're mine. It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Now I could do 67 to 15 to 30. So that'd be 97 plus 15, not enough to kill. So I might as well go bleed. I'll put this to good use. Oh, nice. So now we basically just go stake into Savage. And then I also have the kick. These fanatics are always the same. I thought man thing was ugly. I'll play this because About why not? Time. And then Blade comes here. He's gonna take 30 damage. So with this, that'll be just enough so he'll Wait, die after he attacks us. <laughs> Holy smokes, that was so unfortunate. We did learn one very interesting thing, though. So, um, I'm okay taking that away. I feel like that shouldn't work like that. If you take the, the thing, it should switch to the other truck. But I get that it was still the active truck I'd that turn. That was a very successful outing. But Good man, that's a, that's a one star, no question. Not even close. Double knockout. That's our first time having that happen. But we clawed through it. And uh, we may not have got an artifact, but we got a bunch of credits. We got a rare gamma coil. Two heroes knocked. Dang. Uh, ultimate difficulty is absolutely no joke. So I actually think the, the hero there is uh, the hunter. Because without that sacrifice, I don't think... I don't think it works. Okay, that's good for me. Dang. I did obviously want the artifact. Um, but, yeah. Hopefully we can come back from that. I'm, I mean, we can. <laughs> I just mean mentally, you know? <laughs> mentally, can we come back from that? Okay, six missions with Blade, three missions with Nico. Alrighty. Good girl, Charlie. Charlie, best girl. I know there's a lot of like humming and hawing there too about like are still a little jittery. Are what I should have done, no? but. Okay. 
at this difficulty, that's some of that some of the time that's going to be unavoidable. Okay. Agatha wants to talk to us. Whoops. I know I've asked a lot of you recently, dear, especially when it comes to these little excursions, but there is one more thing you could do to make an old witch happy. If it were not so good to see you again, I might think you were taking advantage of me. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Hunter. You certainly are the product of your environment. Between Sarah and I, I suppose we're just lucky you didn't turn out more cynical. Besides, this might be interesting. Now that the altar is in working order, we just need to reignite my cauldron. How interesting can that be? Your cauldron was always churning with some concoction in the old days. Yes. And how do you think that was possible? It's not just any flame we're talking about here. Maybe you've heard tale of the demon fueling the forge? Yes, ma'am. A fire-breathing demon, no less. Blazing as hot as the flames of hell itself. Fortunately, I'll only require a single ember. I can see where this is going. How do I find it? I've enchanted this vessel to protect you from the ember's heat. You should be able to get close enough to retrieve it through one of the old mine tunnels beneath the forge. If you have any trouble, I think you should take Charlie. She's always had a nose for finding things around here. Okay, I happen to know where this tunnel is, so we will just go there. This is new. Economy from Shield World Factbook. The single largest economic sector of the Republic of Transia relates to the vast uranium deposits located in and around Mount Wondegor. Mount Wondegor. The mining, refinement, and exportation of uranium are, or, sorry, contribute the majority of the small landlocked nation's GDP. Despite the country's size and population, Transia is among the world's top five producers of natural uranium. The proceeds of their exports, along with a carefully managed sovereign wealth fund, allows Transia to provide generous social programs for its citizens and routinely reject any overtures from foreign investors. Uh, this is talking about the old tunnels, and this is referencing the one below the forge, which she also referenced, so we'll go grab that. A manifesto by Dr. Doom. Power and conquest have been my ambition since early youth. Only a fraction of individuals possess the strength of will to even pursue such destinies. For one must be perfect in both mind and body before a journey of this nature may ever begin. My ascent to godhood began with a quest for answers, a means to free my imprisoned mother from Mephisto's grasp in the depths of hell itself. That singular focus opened my mind to the power of arcane sorceries. I concluded that forbidden magics must be combined with disciplined academic study to free my mother's soul and ensure my victory when facing Mephisto. My experiments sought to resolve this conflict, which led me to the regrettable encounter with Reed Richards and the explosion that scarred my flesh. From that point on, Richards and any others who opposed me would face the wrath of Victor Von Doom, reborn from the ashes with the means and technology vastly superior to anything seen before. Now armored and set out to take, or set, yeah, now armored and set out to take what is rightly mine. Many have sought to topple me from the throne of conquest, yet all have failed. The Fantastic Four mere playthings for my amusement. Let us consider the Hulk, thought to embody unlimited raw and destructive energy, and yet Hulk fell like all others, unable to withstand my power-armored blows. Even in my infancy as Doctor Doom, I seized the power cosmic and the surfer's board with ease. Guardians, heroes, whatever they wish to call themselves, are little like... little more than childlike pawns. Even Thanos, self-appointed tyrant of the galaxy, laid, was laid waste by a single blow from Doom's fist. For the record, Thanos did not possess the Infinity Gauntlet at that point, but no matter what, he would have been put in his place, such as the Will of Doom. Ah, a lot of cool references there. Holy smokes. Very nice. Okay. Okay, okay. What level are we here? Level 6. Uh, I am going to go to the tunnel, 
And we could have gone there before. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. We could have gone there before, but um, haven't really been out in that way. Let's bring Charlie with us. We're also going to get something else cool down here. This must be the tunnel entrance Agatha spoke of. Blast it! Noble Oshner guides my head. Very cool. Now we get two more cosmetic rewards for or from the arcane chests. We're gonna grab the arcane key, and we will take the flame. This must be an ember from the forge. Try not to catch fire. Few more missions like that. We just might be <laughs> Don't know about that, Blade. We almost died, brother. I have the ember. The bottle is not even warm. If it were giving off any heat at all, I'd be concerned, given the enchantment on that vessel. Now, let's see if this old girl still works. So I can use the cauldron to brew... things? Essentially, yes. Collect reagents on the Abbey grounds. You'd be surprised what we can make use of. And I just drop the ingredients in. Is that not dangerous? That's part of the fun, isn't it? And I see you've already found a recipe book. I doubt you'll have any trouble following along. Okay, cauldron. So now, with recipe books, we can uh, craft certain things using the reagents. So we have access to a healing salve. This is pretty decent, actually. They're going to recover 33% of maximum health for free. Uh, Iron Oak Charm. Select a hero they gain block for each enemy targeting them. Now... I don't know if that means they gain, like, if they have four enemies, I don't think it's going to give them four block. I think what it means is all of the damage that would be coming in, they would gain in block. I'm guessing. Uh, but we need Deadly Nightshade there, something we haven't seen yet. Death Cap here and Deadly Nightshade. Select a hero, they gain one counter, so one round of counter for free. We have Moderate Attack Essence, Moderate Skill Essence, and Minor Attack Essence here. So we need to find moon flowers and death caps. Nothing in the gifts department, nothing in transmutation yet. And then the steel wind uh, here, which is a color palette. So something that we will definitely dabble in soon. But for now, we sleep. Because I think that is everything. Good night, everyone. It was an absolute blast. Still New York was nothing like you remembered. No hangouts available. Fun times. Good night. Okay. Abby Club invites. Oh, isn't that great? We have the emo kids wanting to meet. All the other emo kids have time to meet. What about you? Um, stop by at night when we're all free. Not right now. Okay, hold on. Ah, she has a request too. Hey, can I ask a favor? Um, I've been try I've been trying my hand at brewing some potions with Doctor Strange. Because you're an absolute dear, I know you'll try one. I'm almost kind of positive that these will work. And I can say, fine, give me the one labeled <laughs> version 28 final final. I I imagine this is like a, a typo bug. I would gain five offense, which is awesome. Or, oh, dang. Or I guess I'll take the one labeled purple death. 
I get 10 Hunter Offense, but I lose 10 health. I mean, that's obviously a riskier trade-off. This is just a guaranteed bonus. I, I think I just take the little bonus oh, there. Thanks, Hunter. No, thank you. That was great for me. That was very good for me. Okay. I'm quite pleased with these results. Bloodborne has been completed, so now I can make this vampiric essence if I want, which is a very good card. And we're actually going to get one too. Book of Vishanti. I can't do mystical healing because I need to take Nico on one more mission. I can't do the high tech suit because I need to take Iron Man on one more mission. But I can do the Book of Vishanti where I can then start crafting hero abilities with blueprints. So we do that. And then I think our next mission, I just, I take Nico and Iron Man for sure. And uh, then I have stuff to use, right? The game is kind of leaning into Nico for me, for sure. All right, Gamma Coil. What have you got for me, boss? Rare. Give me something nice. How's that for quality workmanship? If the target was damaged this turn, extra 15 damage, so 45 on that. <clears throat> Pretty good. Guarding Strike. While in hand, gain 11 block each turn. I don't think 11 block is worth clogging the hand, but restore all health, exhaust. Let it see, let's see what the upgrade is. If target has less than 50% HP, do not discard. That's right. We had seen this. She has one, so we could upgrade it. And then strike would go to strike Plus, which I think changed three. Yeah, that's really good too. I think I think we're gonna take restore. If this thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm quitting. Cause that will basically mean if they're less than 50% HP, which is the best time that we're gonna ever use it, it won't get removed. It won't even get discarded. So that's pretty good. And then we'll take this to upgrade. Relentless, obviously nice. What's the upgrade here? <laughs> it's a lot of extra damage. Let's stick with this for now. Let's craft the item bench since we got the credits. An undeniable essence of power. And then one of the researches is going to be crafting five combat items so we can get a second slot. Um, so we could look at that I'm here. here. You need me. We could we could use this. I'm just looking at our essences. So to upgrade a heroic, we're, uh, common heroic, we're going to need 40. Um, it's 25 attack essence for the vampiric, which we own. Battlefield scanner. Let's just craft this one thing cool. here. Just to get it going. And then over time we do want to complete that so we can do the research to get the extra slot. Combat items very, 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 very powerful. If you can be no pain, no gain. Okay, so she does have an injury. Oh, I need 60 skill for that. Blood magic. Mark target. I could upgrade this. It's pretty solid. Let's upgrade the strike. We need any advantage we can get. And then let me check my hunter deck for a second. Because I feel like maybe... Twenty-five percent chance to apply stun. I don't know. Like maybe that's good if you have a if you have two of these in your deck, like you're forcefully knocking people into stuff, and then if they get stunned, like it's just the cherry on top. But I'm actually gonna salvage this for some attack essence. 
I'm tempted to do this because Nico has that other setup, but let's just see what else I'm sitting on here. Hmm. I could remove... We, we got the Hunger, which was is normally a very good card, but in the situation we got it in, not very good. Uh... I don't think I can only have one make him bleed. Like, realistically, the bleed adds so much damage that I can't really thin out that deck anymore. I'm just looking to see if there's anything, a skill card that I may want to salvage. I want to upgrade marked target here. So that's not the one. I could salvage this for 30. But I don't think that's enough. Ready to work? Oh, it would be actually. Not everyone wants my advice, but they're gonna get it either way. Yeah, so okay. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna salvage her blood magic. And I'm going to upgrade Restore. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Alright. That gets us our sliders damage boosted as well. And then to spar for the day. Uh, this is a friendship XP bo uh, boost and increasing a level to level 6. Uh, she recently sparred, so she can't come. I think... I did say we were going to bring Iron Man. So... I guess I could show you a couple of things. Let's bring him. That ups a couple levels for him, too. Three friendship XP. We'll take that. Okay. And we have a new story mission available. Ever look up at... I miss it out in space, Hunter. It's less complicated. Uh, the closest to the stars I have ever been was studying astronomy and astrology. It's quiet between galaxies. No demons or aliens. Just you and the cosmic wonders. If I took you up there, what would you wish to see? Mars. Oh, definitely the gravitational pull of a black hole. The gravitational pull of a black hole. I have read of their existence. Density so compact that not even light can escape. How very Midnight Sun emo of you, <laughs> Hunter. I find anomalies <sighs> fascinating. I've had some jobs around black holes. Things get super weird. You don't say. Do you know about spaghettification? Trust me, you do not want to get spaghettified. It's really hard on your molecules. Assuming we survive your mom's reign of terror, I think I can arrange an intergalactic getaway. Well, how could I possibly say no? A little extra motivation to stop Lilith never hurts. I can't wait, Hunter. So, what do you need? Looks like you needed something. Nothing, Carol. See you later. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye now. Uh, the emo kids meeting. Can I still do that? Oh yeah, I have to take that in my super link, I believe. Stop by at night when we're all free. So we'll set that up for post-mission. And then... I think... Yeah. What do we want to do? If we go to Spider-Man, I can't take... I can't take both... I can't take both Iron Man and Nico, but I do want to have a research to do, and Mystical Healing would be nice. Rapidly heals injuries, daily sparring grants secondary stats as well. Like, that's 
very good. So I guess I could try taking Nico out there. Her kit could be pretty good. It is a boss mission. And then we would definitely want to get high tech suit going because we want that uh, passive for fully charged. So yeah, maybe maybe our next play here is going Iron Man or sorry uh, Spider Man with uh, Nico, and yeah, we do our best. Okay, that's what we're gonna do, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon. That was a very rough mission. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us again. But hey, we're on ultimate one and it could i'm happy to get some two stars going if we can uh but i'm also happy not to fail so wish me luck bye for now